Hi, I'm Anne from Game Like a Mother. Today I'm going to show you how to play the 12 Dice of Christmas. It's ages 14 and up, two to six players, and it takes 30 minutes. Let me show you how to play. The goal of the game is to mark off all the gifts on your shopping list. Each player is given one of these sheets to begin the game. You write your name at the top, and then the youngest player for the first round gets to uh, roll all the dice. And then all you do on your turn is you pick one. And you can choose to either save it or score it. So I picked a six and I am going to save that dice because um, we'll have this player grab a five because then if I grab another six later on, I'm able to combine my dice in order to get these big gift numbers. When you have the number on your dice add up to a total over here, you can cross it off. So we'll say, I choose now no point in waiting. I'm just going to score this, cross off the 12, and then you put the used dice back in the bag. And it's the next player's turn. And he's going to choose another five and just save it. And you keep on going, picking, saving. Um, he can, um, he could use these three dice to add up to a 12 if he wanted to, but you could only score on your turn. Uh, your scorecard has to be visible to people at all times. And so you can only score on your turn. So this is clearly my last turn of the game. And so I need to figure out what numbers I want to make here. We'll say, um, I pick a, um, seven and a three. Sure. So cross off a three, cross off a seven, and put them in the bag. And now it's this player's final turn. They take this and they're going to decide what they're doing with all these. We'll say they make an 11 and a nine is it for this player for the first round. Then you just put all the dice back in the bag, give it a little shake, and you're going to then have um, you roll them all again and put them in the center. And whoever has the highest number not marked off on their presence will get to go first for the next round. So that would be Nathan gets to roll these out and he gets to start off. And you keep on going until somebody has all of their presents um, marked off on their sheet. And you can either just play, it's up to you if you want to play best two out of three, best four rounds, but that is the basics of the game. If you want a more challenging version, which I highly recommend, we like to play this where you have to, uh, if you choose to save it, um, you have to score with at least one of the new dice that you've picked. So if it's this person's turn and they pick this four and it goes back to this person and uh, they pick the two and then they um, pick, pick something else, they pick a three and they say, ooh, I would have liked to score that 10. It's too late. You have to use one of the new dice that you've selected as part of the scoring. So it, it makes it a little bit trickier. So it's not just a free for all scoring a bunch of them at the end, but just picked based on your audience. If you want to pay a little bit easier where you have um, more choices at the end and you combine them, however best suits you or you're scoring as you're going. And then it's a, you're able to be a little more strategic in saying, Ooh, I'm not going to let them have this because then it'll block them from being able to do these other numbers as you play. So that's how to play the 12 dice of Christmas. The target demographic for this game is people who are looking for a seasonal family favorite board game. This fits the bill. The rule complexity is very easy. Uh, how competitive is this, this game is, is medium though, because it's just my favorite sweet spot where it's just so quick to figure out what you're supposed to do, but you have lots of inter interesting decisions as you play because just depending on what is rolled, uh, it can really impact. You can't just have a set strategy where I always go for a six the first round and then the next round I always go for this. If I can, 
you don't know what's going to be rolled. Sometimes there are just tons of sixes and high numbers, and sometimes they are in short supply. So it really can vary from game to game. And there's mostly it's you managing uh, the probability and your dice. There's a little bit where you can look and see what people want and what dice are left out there. And maybe you pick based on that, but it's a pretty mellow level of competitive. Usually that's not like the make or break for the game. So we've played this a bunch and it doesn't seem like there are a lot of hurt feelings when you play. Uh, the replay value is high for a short period of time because this is very clearly billed to be played around the holidays, although we had a great time testing it out around the pool this summer um, for the month of July. So if you really want, you can play it whenever. Uh, but ideally, this is one that just is your go-to around the holidays. Similar games, if you like this one, uh, 12 Days is a very fun family level, uh, Christmas themed uh, card game. And then uh, Gudetama is a great card game uh, that is family level and they have a holiday edition, which we enjoy thoroughly. So uh, we have been loving the 12 Dice of Christmas and you should check it out. Thanks so much and see you next time from Game Like a Mother.